Today, we're getting the strongest One Piece characters to beat the toughest bosses in Roblox. The One, One Piece! Piece! Isn't real. Right, how does this game work? I'm currently Luffy in Roblox, and there is a sus man walking around. It seems like we're in a lobby right now, and I've already got a bunch of money somehow. Is this enough to get a character? Yup, we can definitely buy a character. We can buy three characters. <laughs> They're coming by ship. Oh, legendary. We found Zoro. Let's try and get a full squad. I don't even know if I need a full squad, but I'll still try and get one anyway. We've got all the different commons and a legendary. It's also really cool how they all jump off from the ship. Anyway, now that we got some more characters that I have absolutely no idea what to do with, equip main, and then I can have Luffy as my support. Ooh. So now I'm Zoro. And if I head over to the dock over here, I can travel. East town. Are we going to have to go clear out some marines and some pirates? If anybody's going to find the one piece, it's going to be me. Main quest. Help. Can you defeat 20 marines? Yes, I'm not trying to be menacing or anything, but these swords are pretty dangerous. But it seems like if I, yeah, if I defeat 20 marines, then I guess I can progress. So we're locked behind defeating these marines. And they've got 500 HP. Do they fight back? Nope. What about my Nami? I've got like my support characters as well. Go Luffy, use pistol. How did you miss? What about Zoro's Onigiri? Boom! And they drop money. I like this kind of game. You can make money by beating up the ops. I like this. This is my kind of game. And right here, this should be the final marine. I've wiped out the entire marine population. And it seems like, oh, if I return to her, then now I gotta defeat 15 marine twos. And it also seems like I got a level from that. And once I get to level five, I can get my next Zoro move. But like, what I don't understand is Nami and Luffy are only level one. So do I have to keep doing quests over and over to get levels? Whoa, look at that guy. He's built like a tank. You know, I'll just do this side quest. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> Complete your current quest. Okay, once I've defeated 15 of these marine twos we can move along and these guys have a lot of health oh it's gonna take me time to defeat 15 of these guys i can't be having this we need to teleport back to the main island and we need to see if there's a way that we can quickly increase our level maybe if we summon some more characters that'll help us out we've got three new characters coming in from the boat who are we getting three more commons oh the commons increase the levels of your characters so the more you get yep laffy Ooh level two. Oh, epic sanji i'm gonna have to get so many of those to be able to level them up though oh double sanji i'm just lucky like that. I've got a feeling I'm not going to get another Zoro. That's just me. Maybe one. Maybe we get one. Yep, we did not get one. We did, however, get a brand new character that we can put in as our support. I think Sanji is definitely going to be a better support. I don't know how I got here, but there's a oh Fire Fist raid going on in six seconds. Everybody here is absolutely cracked in levels. And then there's just me. <laughs> Level two. Let's see if I can actually do something and help out. Let's see how much damage I can do. Go Laffy. Go Sanji. Onigiri. Boom! See, that's me. Look, I've done 5 million damage. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Why is this actually cool for a simulator game? I feel like Roblox games are usually not this well made. Onigiri! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I, I tanked it. Sanji, use your kick. I don't even think I've hit the kick yet. I'm on life support. I think it's over for me. I'll get as much damage as I can before I'm done. But this is the end of the road for me. You guys can go on without me. I better get some good rewards from this. You know, like I'm sacrificing my life here. Oh, I'm dead. How disappointing. I tried, game. I tried. I did all of that for 200 No. I spent 10 minutes of my time doing that raid. That is ridiculous. Now that I've wasted my time doing that, I can just continue fighting these Marine 2s. I see everybody in my Blocks Roots comments telling me to get true triple katana. Is this what it feels like? to have it. Side quest. I'm in a bit of a tangle. Can you retrieve my swords from the boss's son? Found you. Fine, take them. That was easy. What do I get for doing this? I'm back, Zoro. I got 300 belly and 500 XP. I'm level four now. The quest wants me to defeat 10 of these marine exes. I think I have the time for this. It's gonna take so long. No, we're not doing this quest. We're speed running through to Buggy Town. Actually, wait. Captain Freeman, you must defeat all my marine subordinates before challenging me. How do I challenge you? Do I have to do that quest to defeat 10 marines that I just quit out of? Really? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Just because I want to challenge you. And then we're speed running. All right, now I got to defeat 10 more Marine Xs. This is only going to take me like 15 minutes. Even with my level four Zoro, I'm not built like this. Whoa, I just killed that Marine X and got to level 10. I got two new moves. I got to give this a try. Worlds. I one-shot him. And we'll save Twister for that final boss. I don't think he's ready for my Twister move, though. Like, Worlds did that much damage. All right, quest complete. I'm sorry to do this to you, Captain Freeman, but your jaw just looks real nice. I want it. Oh, there's a straight-up cutscene going on. We're in an arena. I've got three minutes to defeat him. I got this. Worlds! Boom! He's one-shot. <laughs> he talks a lot of game to get one-shot by me. Oh, I didn't even use my new move. Hang on. We go again real quick. Twister! 
<laughs> and we get so much XP for defeating him every time. Maybe I grind this guy until I get to level 20. Okay, so I did that two times and I got bored. That cutscene can't be doing with this. So we're after Buggy Town. We're going through the nether portal. I made it. I somehow made it. Despite the fact that I'm Zoro, I thought I'd get teleported somewhere else. So what does this area have? We've got Minion 1. Wow. Least intimidating NPC I think I've ever seen. Also really easy to defeat. And then over here, we've got Minion 2. Boom. Minion 2 destroyed. I have a massive problem. I have too much money and I don't know what to do with it. I've got nearly 50k. Like, what should I spend this on? Because it's like, realistically, I want to try and get better characters. Level 20. I didn't even realize this Minion 1 is finished. Phoenix. I'm charging up. Boom. Oh, wow. You know, my legendary character is all well and good, but I want to give my other characters some time to shine. So let's equip main Luffy and then we'll make Zoro our minion. Oh, this was a mistake. I'm back to being like mega weak. Oh, wow. I'm incredibly weak. And there we go. We've destroyed every single cyclist out here. So I think that means, yep, return to the mayor and then we can move on to the next quest, which should be the final boss of this area. Defeat Boogie with a non-sword type character. Oh, he looking devious. I mean, he's going to have his cool cutscene and stuff as well, but he's still going to get absolutely destroyed. Here there he is. Boogie da clown. What's he gonna do? Throw a boogie bomb on me or something? Hey, hey. Three minutes to defeat this weakling. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I did not mean weakling. He's got a cannon. Bit unfair. I'm getting destroyed. And I've done like no damage. Pistol. Oh. New plan. Technically, the phoenix move we have isn't actually like using our swords, kind of. Phoenix. Boom. <laughs> I just one shot him. He didn't drop his coat though. That's so sad. Moving on. We're going to Maple Village. I've made it. Anything interesting here? Can I summon for some more characters maybe? Does not look like it. If I go to the lobby, do I have like new summons available because I've completed like loads and loads of worlds now? Nope. Still the same things. I guess we should just keep on buying a ton of triple summons. Maybe we got something good. That is just not good. I have spent every single bit of belly that I have pretty much to get the best characters possible. And honestly, I don't know that I even get anything good. Our main three are all up to level 10 plus. Not bad. Wait, what? I got Mythical Steamer. I didn't even realize. He looks like he's gonna do damage even at level one. Put me back into Maple Village. He wants me to defeat 25 of the Slasher Crew 1. Well, luckily for me, I'm made out of smoke. Here goes. Final move. Lung disease. Wow, for a mythical, this guy is pathetic. He really just does not do damage. We're switching up. We're making Luffy our main. Smoker can be our support. We got a brand new move. Axe. Oh, wait, I'm kind of strong now. I mean, definitely not as strong as my Zoro, but not bad. You know what? I think instead we go and spend these 5,000 skull coins that I have. See if we can get something good. I don't even know what they're used for. Raid shop? This yes, seems like sir. a good place to spend them. Ooh, I could get so many characters. We're getting Mihawk. Life should be easy now, right? He's a red character. His first move is called X Slice. Let's give it a test. Come on, Mihawk. You better be good. X Slice. Not bad, but the damage is honestly terrible. Oh, it's gonna take time to defeat 10 Hypnos. They were 25k HP. Like, Mihawk looks so cool and was super expensive. But realistically, he's not doing anything for me. Zoro could one-shot this guy. Final X slice. Boom! Yes! One out of ten. Huge progress. There's the final boss. I've been waiting for you. If I now have to fight like 72 cat boys, I'm finished. When? What is this quest just to be able to fight the final boss? I've got to fight everything. Well, Cabro 1, Cabro 2, you guys are getting farmed. They've got 30 HP. Never mind. I might be the one getting farmed. I'm not having this. Mihawk, he's just not good enough. Just having a level 27 makes life so much easier. I can just do like a Beyblade attack like that and then boom. I'm just in a way better situation. At least there's two of these ones. So it's not as bad having to wait for them to respawn. Notice how I said as bad though. This is still awful. And with this, the cat boys have been defeated. And we've got our new Mihawk move. Perfectly in time for fighting the boss. I hope this is the boss quest. Sweet. Can you defeat the leader slasher? That's the best news I've ever heard. He drops a tie as well if we can defeat him. Ah, this is gonna be tough with Mihawk, but I'm gonna do this. I'll show you who the true slasher is. Look at my sword. It's glowing green. You've just got some little wolverine claws. Those are some scary claws. Chill. X slice. He's comboing me. Ground slice. Whoa. Oh, that was sick. He's at 62%. Ground slice. Oh, I'm gonna die. I need to finish him with a ground slice. Dodge. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. No, I actually dodged. Here goes. Boom. I missed. <laughs> that was one of the top 10 most disappointing anime battles of all time. What is he doing? <gasps> I can't believe he got me with that. He really hit me with the bamboozle. All right, revenge will be sweet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ground slice huge. Oh, why is he doing that? He's doing the thing. Why is he doing the thing? Where'd he go? 
Whoa, wait, he's just become claw marks. Oh, I dodged it. Absolutely dodged everything. Ground slice. Come on. Come on. He's on 0.72. Ground slice. Quick. Yes. Oh, I actually did it. Sometimes I shock myself. This game was incredibly difficult. No amount of cowboys prepared me for fighting him, but I still won.